You've gone through this doctoral program, um, getting a PhD. Um, everyone knows that it's a rigorous process. Like thinking back about your experience and for listeners who are possibly thinking about that route, um, do you have any bits of advice or things that you found particularly helpful throughout that journey? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, uh, this is like such a polarizing topic. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe I spend too much time on Twitter because uh, I feel like if you read, you know, academic Twitter, it's it's like ninety eight percent people complaining about uh, how terrible grad school is and how terrible academia <laughs> is. Uh, and it, you know, can leave you with a very negative picture. Uh, and all of that's true. Uh, but I'll say uh, I'm, I'm maybe in the minority in a sense of being. But I loved grad school. Grad school was was uh very hard um uh very exhausting uh very uh precarious and um uh, uh uncertain time in my life but i like had so much fun <laughs> um uh, uh it's tough right uh if you want to go into you know academic psychology if you want to get a phd in psychology you know, you're going to spend minimum five years. So I'll, I'll say all the bad stuff first, right? <laughs> uh, scare people away. You can spend minimum five years, often, you know, six, seven, occasionally eight years, right, in a PhD program, making ridiculously little money, like just like, you know, just above starvation wages, uh, especially depending on where you live, uh, and, and working nonstop, right? Working really hard on really hard problems, right? Uh, uh, you're going to take classes for like a few years maybe two or three years and those classes are going to be very difficult but also very fulfilling but they're going to be very difficult and then you're just going to be you know set out to do science which is you know extremely difficult you've got to come up with you know new ideas that nobody has ever thought before you've got to figure out ways of testing those ideas you've got to actually run those experiments and you know hopefully you have a budget but probably you don't um you've got to you know analyze that data <laughs> Uh, you've got to, you know, make sense of it. You've got to present that to your peers and your advisor, and you got to present it at conferences in front of strangers. You've got to write that up into like a good manuscript. You've got to submit it to journals and get it rejected over and over again, and just get <laughs> constant criticism from reviewers that are way too mean because they're anonymous. And then, like, once you've done it, like, you've got to do it all over again, and you just got to do it over and over. <laughs> Lather, rinse, repeat. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's hard. It's really hard, just like, you know, soul crushing work. And to be honest, like the academic job market sucks. It especially sucks right now with the recent economic downturn, right? Like, you know, it's increasingly, I mean, I think it's increasingly impossible to get an academic job straight out of your PhD, I say, as a person who did that. Um, but, you know, so you're looking at, you know, probably several years of postdocing or, or, you know, visiting professor positions, which means, you know, moving around a lot, uh, which is not easy. It, it's a hard life. Um, and I, 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 I need to be frank about that. Um, uh, but that said, like, I got paid for five years to just like, you know, hang out, read papers that I thought were fascinating, you know, talk with my friends about what I think are the most interesting ideas in the world you know, teach students who are, you know, super excited. Well, mostly students who are bored and angry, but occasionally students who are like super excited about the same idea as I were. And, and to, you know, just, you know, think about the things in life that I think are most confusing and most interesting and, and just try to figure out my best way to answer those questions. And, you know, I get to, you know, travel around to conferences. I've got to, you know, go all around the world uh, and visit cool different places and, you know, meet all kinds of, you know, great friends, including, you know, Jamie Crumbs, who you had on the show before. Um, it, it, it was just extremely intellectually fulfilling uh, in, in a way that, like, I, I don't think I personally could have got out of any other career. And I also just think, like, I would not do well in any career but this one. <laughs> like, I just am, am too stubborn uh, um, to do well in any other career. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, it was hard and it was scary and it, it was, uh, uh, it was difficult, but I like really genuinely loved it. Um, and I, you know, again, my job now has <laughs> only gotten worse, <laughs> uh, um, uh, in so many other ways, but I also like, I love it. I, I, I have the absolute best job in the world. 
Uh, and so I, I think, you know, my advice to you is uh, grad school is going to suck. It is. Uh, and, you know, I, I can't sugarcoat it. It's going to be extremely difficult work and you're going to get paid way too little to do it. Um, and so you should absolutely not go to grad school unless, like, you cannot imagine yourself doing literally anything else, right? Unless you are, you know, totally captivated by the work that you're doing, uh, unless, like, you just have a burning need to answer the questions that you're trying to answer, because uh, that's what's going to make it good, right? That's what that's what's going to make it fulfilling, and that's what's going to pull you through. So, uh, honestly, I would say I went through everything way too fast. Uh, I went, you know, straight from undergrad into PhD and straight into a job, um, which is, you know, convenient. Uh, has been convenient for my life, but like, I think a lot of people feel this need to rush through their education, but like grad school is not going anywhere. Right? There, there are going to be PhD programs forever. And, and there's no age limit on when you can get accepted into a PhD program. So take your time. Like, you know, again, this is, it's, it's hard. It's a hard process. And so you don't want to start down that path unless you're sure this is absolutely the path for you. So I would say, you know, again, don't do it unless you can't do anything else. And the best way to figure out if you can do something else is try to do something else, right? Go, you know, work a job outside of academia for a little while and see how it feels. You might enjoy it more than you expect, uh, in which case, you know, maybe grad school is not for you. Maybe you can just, you know, have a real job and a real a real life. Uh, but, you know, if you work for a little while and just keep thinking, God, I really... I really want to be doing the science. I really want to be answering these questions. Then then go to grad school and, and you'll be great. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate you tuning into that and we hope you found that helpful. If you're interested in watching more professors give us a deep dive in some of their areas of expertise, please click on the video below. And also subscribe right here. We hope you have a good day. See you in the next one. See ya.